Okay, so what I'm going to do in this video is talk you through the use of Science Journal, um, which is an app that you're going to be able to use to use um, a, an accelerometer, essentially, that's going to allow you to measure some motion. Um, so I'm going to talk you through that. Um, so what you're going to need to do um, to start with is make sure that you've downloaded the app, which is available on the worksheet that I've given you guys. OK, so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm using my phone as well. Um, in this video, so I'm going to start sharing my screen on my phone. Um, so hopefully you've got a phone that's capable of downloading the app. OK, so um, let's just jump back to where we need to be. OK, so if we just jump into um, Play Store. OK, so the Play Store, this is the app that you need to download. OK, so just type in Science Journal into the search bar um, and download this particular app okay so it works very nicely okay so here it is is the app itself um, and what you're going to do to start with is just go down to the bottom right hand corner and press the plus sign okay so this opens up a new untitled experiment at the moment um, now what you're going to be asked to do is firstly is to use the sensors okay so you've got these four options down at the bottom text sensors camera gallery so click into the sensors one and it brings up this. Okay, so what this um, essentially does is it uses your phone to collect data. Okay, so you can collect light, sound, um, all sorts of things like that. And what we're interested in essentially is is the accelerometer. Now, an accelerometer is is in, inside your phone is a sensor that can detect motion, um, and it can detect it in three planes. So this, this is what we're going to explore to start with. Now, your first task essentially is to um, use the X exon, ex, accelerometer, which is this downwards arrow, the uh, fifth sensor in. OK, so it's this one here. So we click this one. And what we'll notice um, to start with um, is there is some motion going on there. My phone at the moment is completely still. OK, and if I move my phone around like this, you can see it's here in my hand, there is motion taking place. Now it's not that that we're interested in. What we're interested in to start with, essentially, um, is what happens if we move the phone backwards and forwards. So like this, backwards and forwards, side to side like that, and up and down, okay? Um, now you're gonna need to do this on a flat surface because obviously when I'm holding it up there um, in my hand, it's moving around even if I'm moving side to side. So what we need to do is get this, get this in a position where it's at zero. So here it is. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the phone backwards and forwards, side to side, up and down the three motions that you're going to be asked to do in the worksheet okay so let's just move this to a position where we can do this okay so we want it to be reading zero there it is and i'm going to move it backwards and forwards so this is backwards and forwards away from me and towards me okay we do get motion okay now what i'm going to do is move it side to side move it side to side like this and what we notice is there's motion again and now i'm going to move it up and down up and down up and down okay now, what you don't want is a big drop like that. OK, so those are the three motions I'm asking you to study in terms of the motion. Now, what I'm going to suggest is to do this properly. Once you've once you practice, you've got the sensors working. Press the record button. So I'm going to press the record button. I'm going to do those three motions again. So here we go. We're going to go backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, side to side. Like so. That's side to side. And then we're going to go up and down up and down up and down okay and then we're going to press stop now at this point we get that little notice at the bottom that's now disappeared unfortunately but we can drop back to that and there we have our reading okay so this reading shows us the three motions and we can see uh backwards and forwards then we can see left to right and then we can see up and down now the x accelerometer essentially measures um, on an x-axis, what this actually tells us is it's, it's measuring left to right. So it's measuring that motion left to right. So you can use this to fill in your worksheet, okay? What you're then gonna do, go back to, back to the sensors, and we're gonna switch to the y-axis. So this, and again, you can kind of see on the image um, what this is measuring, okay? So if I move my phone forwards, it measures that motion backwards it measures that motion okay now we want to get this to a point where it is reading 
zero. There we go. Uh, it's, it's as close to zero as we're going to get it. It's not necessarily on a completely flat surface. OK, but don't worry too much. What we're going to do at this point is we're going to, again, press record, press record, and we're going to go backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Yeah, left and right. And then we're going to go up and down like so. OK, uh, and again, we've got quite a large jump there. But if we view that, again, what we can generally see here um, is that the y-axis accelerometer is measuring move movement towards and away from the object or from, from me in this particular case. What we're then going to do is jump back to sensors um, and change this for... What we want to do is change this for... Um, a Z axis accelerometer. Now this is an interesting one. What we can see on this one, even if I hold this still on the table, this phone is always going to experience 9.8 meters per second um, of acceleration. And that is the effect of gravity acting upon that phone. Okay, so um, there's no way we can, we can make that kind of stop um, whilst it's on the table here on earth because that is a constant pull um, on that phone, and it's experiencing that pull, um, 9.8 meters per second squared, okay? Um, now, what we're going to do, again, we're just going to do the same thing, press record, we're going to move backwards and forwards, okay? And then we're going to go left and right, like so, and then we're going to go up and down, up and down like that, and then we're going to press stop. View the graph, and again, what you can see here is that left and right motion did, didn't do a lot in terms of the acceler acceleration of the phone. There are small little ripples. Um, and that's where the, maybe the, the table isn't completely flat um, and it's going up and down ever so slightly, but it's the up and down motion. So what you can actually see here is the, the, X, uh, the X acceleration at the top. You can see the Y acceleration here and the Z acceleration here. What I would like you to do is, is to use this information in the video to complete the worksheet um, that you've got um, given to you. And it, it talks you through what you need to do. Use the app. So the app is very straightforward to use. Um, when you get to the next stage, what it asks you to do is essentially to compare different, different sensors. So if we go for an X sensor, you can do an X and you can compare it. If you buy, add a sensor, you can add a Y Oh, that's a Z. Let's add a Y. There's a y, a y sensor there. And then what you can do is you can go record and you go backwards and forwards, left and right, um, up and down like so. Stop it and then view the graph for that. So the recording for, if you go into this, you can see you've got the X graph and the Y graph like so, and you can make comparisons between them. So it's asking, and what I'm asking you to do here is just play around with the accelerometer, get a kind of grip for what's going on, okay? Um, and then what you're gonna do is then you're gonna put it through a number of situations, perhaps where you're gonna, um, for example, um, you're gonna drop it from a height into your hand like that, and that's gonna, you can see what, what, what that shows up as. So just a quick drop, drop it onto a pillow. Obviously don't damage your phone, um, you're gonna, there's, a, there's one way you can put it in a sock and swing it around your head. You I mean, you could just do that. You could just swing the phone around like that um, on different planes like so, um, and it will give you the different motions. Okay, now what this accelerometer is picking up is essentially um, a change in velocity over time, which we're going to talk about a bit more as we go forwards. And all of this relates to Newton's laws of motion. Okay, um, now what I'm going to do at this point um, is just finish sharing my screen there. Um, once you've got through that bit, I'm just going to share my screen again um, here on my laptop. You then have, this is the worksheet. Okay, so it's got, it's got those parts that you were talking about, like here. Slide the phone left to right, toward you, away from you, and up and down. It's then asking you here to compare multiple sensors at once. So add them together. Um, you might be able to capture screenshots of your graphs. And then it's got these scenarios. So place the phone on the table, drum will shake the table, 
um, drop the phone from a safe distance on something soft and you've got swinging it around your head. Um, once you've given that a go, there's a little quid here. Let's like give that a go. Put your score into 10 into there. Um, this little bit explains what's going on inside your phone. Um, and if any of you have maybe used your phone to do any kind of gaming uh, or you notice that maybe, say, if you turn your phone sideways, um, if you go from landscape to portrait, sometimes your phone will automatically switch um, from portrait into landscape. It's using that accelerometer inside that phone to do that. So there's an application of it there in terms of how it works, um, which is really handy. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you guys as a, as a kind of extension task. If you've got the equipment to do this, um, to have a go at this. Now I'll post a separate video for this one because I've got equipment here at home where I can actually stick the phone in a car on a ramp. And we're going to run, um, what we'll do is we'll run um, this practical um, as a video. But if you can do this at home, what you're essentially going to be doing is changing the angle of the, um, of the, of the board. So you've got this board here um, and you've got a toy car and you're going to attach your phone to it somehow. Do that as you see fit. OK, so if you, if you don't have the equipment to do that, then it's not going to be easy to do. I totally appreciate that. But you're going to need the equipment there on the list. OK, so there's I will do a separate video for this. Um, and we'll go from there. Um, if you get any trouble at all, guys, give me a shout. Um, thank you very much. Let me just stop recording.